When we think of tension in film, what often comes to mind are movies like Jaws, with its iconic EF sharp score, or maybe even the classic red wire blue wire scenario. But what makes these dramatic tense scenes so effective? While tension is created through uncertainty, it's when we're fearful of something or someone, but there's a doubt which is the only thing that's stopping the worst from happening. It can be created with a few different techniques. It's hard for the protagonist to be tense, when there's either too much or too little noise. When we hear that word or noise coming from the threat, we have to stop and think about what will potentially happen next. When there's too much noise, it's hard to think. You might be worried, but there won't be that heart-stopping realisation. It's too difficult to concentrate. When there's too little noise, the scene might become soothing, or maybe even just awkward. No, there has to be that subtle, eerie sound that stops you from thinking clearly. One that keeps you from focusing on what's drastically important. Three! The stress is imminent and close. The protagonist might not have realised it before, but this thing he might have thought as a friend might just hurt you. The protagonist is generally at a point of weakness or moral dilemma. There aren't many options. Most of the time it involves fight or flight. Our protagonist has little option or help. They can be alone or have hardly anyone with them. They make harsh and swift decisions with the little information that they have, which may not in itself be the right decision. This is a scene from the film Zodiac, directed by David Fincher. Let's look at how some of these features can be used in the scene, and how it might be framed. The threat always has to have the upper hand, which can be conveyed through a wide shot featuring both protagonist and antagonist, but at a low angle, making the character seem vulnerable and the threat looming. Once the protagonist has a sudden realisation, there is a short reverse shot to establish their reaction with that eerie sound or music that I talked about earlier. The threat can now move around freely because it's perceived power within the scene. I do the posters myself. It's my handwriting. The character is trapped, and so the shot might consist of tight close-ups of their reaction, making them seem small or powerless. All while there's a quiet yet consistent sound provoking the scene. When we play that film. But that's alright. It's not a problem. They're just down in the basement. Not many people have basements in California. I do. Come in, Mr. Basement. Now the scene generally ends however the plot deems it to. This is why tension is among the most thrilling way to get the grip of an audience, and so when done effectively, can work really well for the film. It's because the spectator often puts himself into the shoes of the protagonist that makes it so effective. I will list all the films that I've used down in the description. I implore you to watch them all, so you can get a sense of why tension is so effective in film. I hope you, I hope you all learned something. My name is James Hayes, and thank you for watching.